WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday. Two hours left to go in the trading day. We've got markets hanging around positive territory right where we've been for most of the afternoon. Right now, we get the S&Ps up 24 points, trading at 31.15. Dow Jones up 193, trading at 27,695. NASDAQ up by 50 points, trading at 85.71. Oil having quite a day to the upside, up $2.38, trading at $58.48. Gold contract off about $5 at $14.79. And notes and bonds, a little bit of a reversal of yesterday's action. We have a little bit of lower price and higher yield. The 10-year off 19 ticks, 129.14. The 30-year off a full point and 13 ticks at 158.22. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the indices. We'll start it off with the Dow. As I mentioned, pretty tame afternoon, right since I say afternoon. Look at that. From 9.50 a.m. this morning, looks like a straight line across the Dow. All the acceleration happening overnight, 4 a.m. Eastern time. The news breaks. A Bloomberg, a Bloomberg excuse me, report will pull up the headline. U.S. China move closer to trade deal despite harsh rhetoric. You see the timestamp 4.06 a.m. Eastern time on that story. And that's where all the markets started to move upward. Currently right now, 27,699 in the Dow. NASDAQ 100, just kind of hanging at these levels since right at about 4 a.m. this morning, 83.05 in the NASDAQ 100. S&Ps currently trading at 31.15. There's your crude oil chart, quite an acceleration early, early overnight, trading at $56 and about 22 cents, I think, was the low. We trade up more than $2, 58.47 right now. There's your gold contract. Trading inversely with the market, you got gold trading at 14.79, almost made it up to 14.90 within about a few pennies. And the euro US dollar with volatility in both directions made it above 111 briefly, back down to 110.73 right now. In terms of what else you have happening in the market, we also got payroll numbers this morning, not getting a lot of attention with so much going on in the market. That number 67,000 from ADP, this is private payrolls. We get the non-farm number on Friday, but ADP coming in at 67,000 in November, quite a miss from the 150,000 the market expected. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to man Dave White coming up live right now at the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien live at 3 o'clock to finish up the day. Dow Jones up 200, S&P's up 25, NASDAQ up 52. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back.